Hello. This question we're going to look at now is typical of some of the more complicated questions on shape and space, surface area and volume. It's asking us to determine the amount of empty space that exists in a tube containing three tightly packed tennis balls. It tells us that the diameter of the tennis ball is 2.7 inches. That is, of course, the entire distance across the top and therefore the length of the tube must be 2.7 and another 2.7 and another 2.7 so we have a diameter of 2.7 on the top and a total length of 3 times 2.7 which is 8.1 we can certainly work out the volume of the cylinder we might need to go to the formula sheet to do that and we can see that the volume of a cylinder is simply the base area times by the height in other words pi r squared times the height while we're here we can see that the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed okay so back to the question the volume of the tube is given by pi r squared h r is the radius which is half of 2.7 which is 1.35 squared and then h is 8.1 this gives us a total volume of 46.377 inches cubed what about one of the balls well one ball has a diameter of 2.7 so the radius is 1.35 the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed so it's 4 divided by 3 times by pi times by 1.35 cubed which is 10.306 and of course there are three of them so altogether it's 30.918 So if the balls occupy 30.918 cubic inches and the whole tube uh, occupies 46, then the empty must be 46.377 minus 30.918, which is 15.459. And then expressing that as a proportion of the whole thing, 46.377, we get an answer of exactly 0.333. In other words, one third of the tube is empty. Question, do you think it was important that the diameter was 2.7 inches or would it have been the same had it been something else, 3.5 inches or 17 meters? Do you think that it was relevant that we were talking about three balls in the tube or wouldn't it have mattered in any case?